you remember these from high school history class? The ironclad ships of the Civil War? Turns out they were 150 years ahead of their time. The Navy's new Zumwalt class destroyer bears a strong resemblance to those giant vessels from the 1800s. Once construction is completed by General Dynamics, the Zumwalt will be the Navy's biggest destroyer ever, more than 100 feet longer than the current Burke class ships. We got a peek at its size last month when the Zumwalt's 900 ton deckhouse was lifted onto its hull at the Bath Ironworks in Maine. What we saw looked as large as the old days and as futuristic as the shiny new B-2 bomber. It will be the first Navy destroyer to be propelled by a fully electric drive system. Low and angular for stealth capability, this huge ship features electric magnetic cannons that fire missiles with a range of more than 100 miles, making for an invisible vessel that can sneak up coastlines and send a message very far inland. The high-tech specs don't come cheap. At about $3.8 billion per ship, the Navy has been forced to cut down its original order of 32 vessels to a more modest three. This week, defense contractor Raytheon won a $169 million order to build mission systems equipment for the new destroyers. The first Zumwalt class destroyer is 70% complete and will be delivered in 2014.